But what bothers me is Omed Aliabi was undefeated. Pascal beat him. Sir Marcus Brown was undefeated. Pascal beat him. And now he tests positive after he had beaten Badu Jack by a split decision. And Badu was getting his rematch. How would you feel if you were an undefeated fighter who lost thousands of dollars based off of a loss to see this guy test positive? I would. It, it ain't cool. It, it ain't cool. So I could, I could understand him dude's frustration. You know, at the end of the day, it's already, uh, you know, you already going in there to hurt the other dude, you know, and, and people, you know, lives, people's lives is on the line in every fight. You know, so to 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 be uh mess around with that shit, it, it, it just ain't cool. You know, let's, I don't I don't respect it. Let's keep it a buck. You played football, you played football at a high level. You went to college and played football. You've probably played against people that did performance enhancing drugs. Were you ever aware of someone on the other side where you just felt like felt something and you're like, okay, that boy might be awesome? Um in terms of feeling, just just like getting hit by somebody, like tackled, no, but you definitely see it, you know. In high school, not so much. Once I got to the college level and D1 level, oh, you definitely see it, you know. Some guys, you know, they know how to play the game and 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 get around certain things, but you see it, it, it and, and it's it's going on. But at the end of the day, it's just that's just it's not respectable to me. Like when I was when I was playing football. I would have never been tempted to to do no shit like that. I always took it as it's like you you putting salt on your own game. You, it's like you don't believe that you're good enough to get the job done. You got to, you know, you got to It's a cheat. crutch. It's a crutch. You're saying you need something. Like I always, my metaphor for it is imagine being in, in a ring sparring, but you're always looking outside because you need something else. You need a bat or you need something else in the ring with you. You can't just do it with your own too. You need something from outside. And what happens if you take that away? All of a sudden, the guy's not. It's kind of like the big old scary gangster guy who's scary when he's got a gun, but you take the gun away from him and he's the most terrified person ever because the gun was all that powered him. That's kind of how I look at these steroid guys is it's like they're the mentality is all different. The reason I brought up feel was my experience with people I knew doing athletics growing up that I felt were on steroids. Their hands were ridiculously big. That was one of the telltale signs to me. I could just be wrong or whatever, but it always felt like dudes had big ass hands and they'd be like gripping on my shoulders. And I'd be like, what the hell is going on? It was like big shoulders and big hands was like my always my thought. I could always just tell who was who was doing the shit and who wasn't.